Hello and welcome to Ember's Reading Room. Today we are returning to Rainbow Forest with Whisper the Winged Unicorn, the pony who looks like some pony else. Cough. Yes. Her publication date still predates a certain princess of the sun. But today we are looking at Whisper's Rainbow Treasure starring Whisper the Winged Unicorn, story by Jill Wolf, illustrations by Katherine Wilson. Yeah, and they kind of changed the way they did the naming here. Because if you look at the, at least the way they did the font for the naming on this book compared to the other ones. Underneath the name, Whisper, usually it says the winged unicorn in a curved kind of font. But on this one, it's put off to the side because I have a feeling it kind of right, didn't quite work right with the way they have her on the cover. Whoa. That is completely different than the cover. Just a little bit. What a beautiful summer day, Whisper. I don't think that anything bad could ever happen on a day like this. Oh, oh, spoke too soon, said Bixby the rabbit. Whisper the winged unicorn smiled at her little friend. They were standing beside Rainbow Falls in the center of Rainbow Forest. This waterfall was the true heart of their wonderful home. For here, the giant rainbow that gave Rainbow Forest its name glowed like a necklace of beautiful jewels. It was a precious natural treasure, and the animals often came to look at it. Yeah, the way Whisper's drawn in this picture is completely different than the cover. It's kind of interesting. It's just also, the way the mane kind of flows looks slightly off, but I'm guessing Bixby looks nice. Mm-hmm. You're right, Bixby, agreed Whisper. Nothing bad can happen. The world is perfect today. Oh, here's the coffin. There's another nail. But even as she spoke these words, Whisper's world was in great danger. A dark cloud suddenly appeared on the horizon and moved over them. It hung above the waterfall like a huge hand covering the sky. We spoke too soon, said Bixby. Look at that big thundercloud. I even... Oh, I predicted it. The wind began to blow, and the dark cloud swirled. Well, at least the art's staying consistent inside the book. As Whisper and Bixby watched with wide eyes, the cloud opened, and the rainbow was sucked into it. There was a clap of thunder that sounded to Whisper like a deep rumble of evil laughter. Then the cloud flew away as quickly as it had come and the sky was peaceful and quiet again. Bixby blinked. That cloud just stole our rainbow, Whisper. We'd better tell Phineas about this, Whisper said. They ran down the path to the cave where Phineas the Nodkin lived. This is like turning into a Saturday morning cartoon. As they hurried along, Whisper and Bixby saw holes popping open everywhere in the ground. Bit by bit, Rainbow Forest was disappearing. Whisper knocked so hard on Phineas's door, she nearly kicked it in. Phineas, quick! Something awful is happening! The world is coming to an end! shouted Bixby. Now, now, it can't be as bad as all that, scolded Phineas when he opened the door. Dude, there's holes in the ground, and the sky literally ate a rainbow. Then Phineas saw the holes outside. After he heard Whisper's story, he looked shaken. This is the evil work of the sky wizard Thorn. He hates Rainbow Forest and has wanted for years to steal our rainbow treasure for his own, said Phineas. If we do not get it back soon, Rainbow Forest will completely disappear. You mean that without our rainbow, we will be homeless? asked Whisper. How can we rescue our rainbow? We don't even know where Thorn is gone. You want to say it again? Saturday morning cartoon? Also, why did they keep changing his style, though he's closer to... The Egyptian style he was in the previous book, I believe, we read? Mm hmm Well, different illustrators. And even when it's the same illustrator, you know, different techniques. Thorn lives in the clouds over the Vortex Mountains, many days' journey from here, replied Phineas. He travels as fast as the wind. I can fly as fast as the wind, said Whisper. Phineas shook his head. Whisper, it would be much too dangerous for you to fight Thorn. He controls the weather and even uses a terrible thunderstorm cloud he calls the Flying Dragon to defeat his enemies. Sounds like we should be calling another dragon. Yeah, I know. 
But we must save Rainbow Forest, said Whisper. Her voice was full of fear, but her eyes were full of fire. That doesn't look fiery at all. Yeah, it kind of looks kind of like, yeah, man, I've, I've seen things, dude. I was going to say hungover. Phineas sighed. I know that you are our only chance, Whisper. That is why I must let you go, although I am afraid for you. Once again, where's the dragon? Where's Dorian? Mm -hmm. I must not waste any time, said Whisper, and soared into the air. From above, Rainbow Forest looked like a puzzle with some of the pieces missing. Whisper flew at top speed for several days through sky and clouds. It seemed that the Vortex Mountains were on the other side of the world, and time was running out for Rainbow Forest. Hmm. I see a little bit of clouds in the background right behind, right behind Whisper's head, and Whisper's face is just looking all sorts of odd in this book. Oh, that's a better one. Yeah, now that we're over halfway through the book. At last, Whisper saw the Vortex Mountains and flew across them into a different world. There were clumps of black storm clouds everywhere. Any of them might hide a stolen rainbow. As Whisper searched the clouds, she was tossed about by wind and rain. Thunder deafened her and lightning blinded her. She realized that Thorn was at work. The thunder was his laughter and the lightning was the flying dragon's fiery breath. Finally, Whisper found a large white cloud. It could not hide the colors of the rainbow that glowed through it like bright jewels. He stole it using a dark storm cloud. All the other storm clouds are dark. Why would he hide it in a white cloud? Well, maybe the cloud's now white because it has the rainbow in it. Oh, now, now she's actually fighting a dragon. And she looks hungover again. Whisper sped toward the rainbow cloud. Suddenly a dragon-shaped cloud flew in front of her. She felt its fiery lightning breath on her wings. The dragon cloud changed shape and tried to trap Whisper, but she was too quick for it. Dodging the dragon cloud's lightning, Whisper reached the rainbow cloud. Funny, that didn't look anything like a cloud, but it clearly says it's supposed to be a cloud. Yeah, it's definitely a dragon. A dragon, yeah, definitely a dragon. Definitely a western-style dragon? Yeah. You will not steal my thunder or my rainbow treasure, roared Thorn, the sky wizard from above. In a rage, he whipped up a tornado that nearly tore Whisper's wings from her body. That was Thorn's mistake. The tornado ripped open the white cloud and the rainbow poured out in a burst of color, catching on Whisper's mane. As she flew away, the rainbow streamed out behind her. Whisper flew as fast as she could for Rainbow Forest. Thorn followed her with the deadly tornado. All the way home it threatened Whisper. She was tired, but she didn't dare rest for fear of being caught in the storm. She arrived in the skies of a rainbow forest just as the storm broke. Thorn tried all his tricks with wind and rain, but the storm only made the rainbow brighter when it was over. This is kind of like getting into rainbow bright territory. A little bit. Also the classic original My Little Pony TV series. Yes, but that was just a little piece of rainbow. Mm-hmm. Phineas Bixby and the other animals of Rainbow Forest had seen the coming storm. They stood watching on the hill near Rainbow Falls. As Whisper flew across the sky, trailing their beloved rainbow, they cheered loudly. Whisper landed by the waterfall, and the rainbow fell into its proper place above the roaring water. The patches of Rainbow Forest that had melted away to nothing quickly returned. When Whisper heard her friends cheering and saw that Rainbow Forest was saved, she smiled. A happy tear fell from her eye, shining in the sunlight with a little rainbow of its own. Hmm. That's actually, like, other than how awkward Phineas is, that's a pretty good rendition of Whisper, though. Yeah. Probably the best for the whole book. That's what I was thinking. Because the end. <laughs> I don't know what they were using for references in this book, but poor Whisper's face was just all over the place in consistency. Yeah, just did not come across well. And yes, I know rainbows after storms but really thorn tried all of his tricks but they didn't work but earlier she was getting buffeted by the wind and rain and scorched by the flying dragon's fiery breath but once she had the rainbow all his tricks availed him not i don't know children's logic because i was like it's very saturday morning cartoon also he where's their dragon yeah once again where is dorian because he's only been in a couple of the books out of the ones that I own. So it took her days of flying to get to the Vortex Mountains, and it took her days to come back. 
but when she and Bixby were pounding on Phineas's doors, pieces of Rainbow Forest were already starting to disappear. So how was there still any Rainbow Forest left? So, yeah. Very weak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, a few of these I don't have. Like A Wish for Whisper, Rescue from Rainbow Forest, Shadow of the Hawk, Whisper's Golden Friend. I have some theories about what the contents of that book might be. And Whisper's Secret Dream. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of those. Though, funny thing, I'm pretty sure I still have all the stickers and bookmarks that came with these books. Because I took them out of the books, but I was enough of a sticker collector that I didn't stick them on anything. Hmm. Because, you know, once you stick them on something, it's all over. Yep. Unless it's a special surface that the sticky substance sticks to, but doesn't permanently stick to, and you can peel off again later. Yeah, and where has Thorn been the entire time? Was he part of the race of people that the Nodkins fought against that Phineas talked about in The Circuit of Dark Hollow when he was talking about how, you know, his people used to guard the area and now only he remained? Yeah. Because, okay, I know I don't have all the Whisper of the Winged Unicorn books, but this guy came out of nowhere. Yeah, this series is not consistent at all. It's almost like they didn't conceive it as a series until suddenly, oh, our children's book about this winged unicorn is popular. Maybe we should make more. Yeah, we'll have all different authors, and the only things they have to have in common are her name is Whisper, the Nodkin's name is Phineas, and Bixby is a rabbit. Everything else is up for grabs. Apparently. Well, this has been Whisper's Rainbow Treasure, starring Whisper the Winged Unicorn. Story by Jill Wolf. Illustrations by Katherine Wilson. Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this, please check out other episodes in the Ember's Reading Room series. There's a whole Whisper playlist, soon to be finished, and lots of other children's books as well, and all sorts of pop culture videos on the main Lux Analysis channel. Like the book and maybe you want to pick it up? Check below for an Amazon link. If it's in print still, we'll try to get you one. Just feel like shopping? Click on the Ebates link. Sign up and make a qualifying purchase. Get a bonus and get cash back for shopping at places you probably already shop with. Amazon and Ebates are not sponsors of or in any way affiliated with Ember's Reading Room or the content of the Lux Analysis channel. Thank you.